And I think it's an important occasion like today to look really at how to empower youth. What role do you see for cooperation at international level? The core issue now in rural space is really this massive unemployment. And we are not only talk, talking about young innovators who have the brilliant ideas, who can get things moving. We are talking about that 20 million young Africans which come up every year and every year again who are looking for work and who don't find work. I think that is the situation we are in today. And that solution can only be, the solutions can only be a more massive and more intensive and more intelligent cooperation at international level. The Agenda 2063 of the African Union. We have to take it serious and start modestly, humbly, with uh, implementing credibly our visions. Should we wait until 2063 to do progress? when we have 20 million jobs to create every year. Is agriculture going to do the trick and agribusiness, or should we think really out of the box? Let's face it. What is happening in Africa is a scandal. We are exporting jobs and importing poverty into the continent. That is why the African Development Bank has said this has to stop. The African Development Bank has launched what we call the Feed Africa um, initiative. And Feed Africa has four goals. The first one is to end extreme poverty. The second goal is we have to end malnutrition. We also have to end food imports. You know, food imports put so much pressure on African currencies. The last goal is we need to move Africa up global value chains. The issue of coherence of policies is key. And what is the role of policymakers and in this context of OECD as a development center to put policymakers together around the table to design better policies. So what you know can policymakers do to create an enabling environment for decent and attractive job for rural youth? Well, uh, a key message uh, you know from our analysis is that integrating rural youth in local value chains uh, rooted in vibrant sustainable and inclusive domestic food system may be, may be well, you know, one of the few lasting <coughs> solutions uh, to the current uh, rural youth employment problem. So this, of course, requires specific actions, you know, around what we have identified as five priorities. First, to promote local value chain as an engine for decent jobs and food security. Second, to link rural with urban development with a territorial approach. Uh, third, to adopt a comprehensive approach to rural development uh, to develop regional advantages. Fourth, to invest in agriculture and rural infrastructure. And last but not least, to green and diversify rural uh, economies. So what is the role of ITC and ITC's experience to achieve locally led, inclusive and scalable impact? So the central question is, how can we move away from agriculture into agribusiness and businesses in a broader scope of what you'll find in rural areas, which is more than agriculture, in order to unlock the potential of the rural areas and to achieve impact while involving youth. The latter requires productive development policies, private-public partnerships and concerted action. And we need to have this combination of forces to achieve transformative change because transformative change in what's required, it's not just small adjustments. And linking what the expectations are of young people who want to operate in agriculture and agribusiness and what can really be scalable is something that we as donor community but also financial institutions need to come more together to see what's uh, stopping bankable projects or the scalability of bankable projects because finance is there but the question is what is uh, stopping financial institutions to really um, jump into the sector even despite the fact that we are providing guarantees.